friends, welcome back to another episode of Guitar Talk with Todd here at Todd BB Music. Thank you all so much for checking in and joining me today. Please hit that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. You know I appreciate it. Find me on Facebook at Todd BB Music. We always have everything going on here. Artists interviews, lessons, product reviews, music memorabilia, and guitar reviews, which is what we're going to do today. This is a 2000... Gibson SG Millennium Edition. Make sure you uh, check out the link below. I'll put it for the review we did on the 2000 Gibson Les Paul Red Sparkle Millennium Edition. Uh, those of you who were alive in the during the time when it turned from 1999 to 2000, the new millennium. It was a strange time people were thinking you know the world was coming to an end and some people were stockpiling food and you know uh, i knew several people that worked in the computer world and um had to work overtime on new year's eve couldn't even you know enjoy the evening because they were afraid the whole number nine nine rolling over to zero zero that some things weren't set up for was going to cause shutdowns and mass hysteria and all kinds of problems thank god nothing really happened but the millennium was a big deal the new millennium when we went from 99 to 2000 so gibson jumped right on that uh bandwagon and did some things and like i said they put out several models. One of them we've had in here. Uh, they did a red sparkle. They actually did several sparkle finishes of Les Pauls in the year 2000 to celebrate the new millennium. And they were like limited runs. We had the red one in here. And I know we have more coming in as well. So I'll put the link below. Check that one out. But this was part of the uh, limited edition millennium run that they did for the 2000 uh, they did some Les Pauls like this, as well as SGs. Uh, I know we have a picture of a advertisement that was in magazines. I'll throw that up here. And you can see the uh, 2000 limited edition SGs and Les Pauls. And this is one of them right here. It's stamped on the back with the limited edition logo on the headstock, which you'll see when we check it out in the case more. But a uh, lot of, uh, you know, interesting and traditional stuff here. Gibson, Mother of Pearl logo. You've got the Mother of Pearl crown on here. SG on the truss rod cover. Gold hardware. I got our Cluson style tuners on here. Rosewood fingerboard with acrylic trapezoid inlays. Got the Pearl pick guard which is a really big thing especially at that time uh, you will see models come up with these more often now but at this time for the millennium edition this was like a big big deal uh, as is the gold hardware no pickup mounting rings at all just coming right out of there directly out of the pearl pick guard we have a abr1 two pneumatic bridge on here and gold stop bar tailpiece three-way toggle like you'd normally have on an sg two labeled volume and tone controls which is pretty much standard so a lot of this is you know typical standard uh sg you know stuff that you would have and we got the black going on here you can never go wrong with black but uh any of you watch this show regularly know that I always say my second favorite era, I'll say it again, of Gibson besides about 54 to 64. The next best decade was 1990 to 2000. And uh, being as this is the tail end of that, I'm going to throw, you know, 2000 right in. You might as well say it's the 90s. It was the same group of people pretty much working on them. And... Uh, the same thing I'm going to say about this guitar. It's just stellar. I can't find one thing wrong with it. Uh, just plays beautifully. A 490R, 498T standard humbucking pickups that Gibson was using big time during that time. So nothing special about the pickups or anything except for the fact that they're gold, I guess. <laughs> but uh, just a really cool thing. Like I said, a lot of this stuff you see now so much with the custom shop and all that kind of thing. But in 2000, the full-on custom shop as we know it which had gotten going in about 1993 as a full-on entity on its own 
So at that time, they had only been running about seven years. They were doing some fantastic stuff, but a lot of these limited runs were still coming out of the USA plan, whereas you would kind of see more of this type of thing today probably come out of the custom shop, but not in the year 2000. Uh, but typical SG stuff, this, you know, cleans up well. you got your you know full on volume here when you want it as well for anything that's full on so I mean anything you kind of want of this in a Gibson style humbugging pickups you're gonna get said if there's one complaint I have about um, not this guitar SG's in general it's that this whole area with the three-way toggle and the two volume two tone and then the output jet this whole area gets a little bit cramped sometimes <laughs> when you're reaching down here to change it's like wow you know, it's kind of a lot nicer to have the output jack on the side like you would on, say, a Les Paul and then your three-way toggle up here on, like you would on a Les Paul and that allows you more opportunity to space out the volume and tones so you can get to them easier. But that being said, am I complaining about that? Yes, I guess I am, but technically no because uh, I love SGs and... Um, that's just kind of part of the nature of the beast. You just learn to deal with it, and it's it's part of the SG experience, which makes it completely different than a Les Paul. Um, and, of course, these were Les Pauls when they first came out. Check out my uh, reviews we have. I'll put the links below. We've had some beautiful 1961 Les Pauls in here that were Les Pauls at the time, but they obviously look like an SG, which is ultimately what the SG was spawned out of, SG for solid guitar, and uh, as we know it today, it's pretty much like this, maybe not exactly like this, more like the uh, cherry reddish finish that everyone's come to know and love, but this body style is certainly what we all know as the SG, but in 61, when it first hit, it was still called the Les Paul, so I'll put some links below to those guitars we've had on this show as well, but uh, let's get some close-ups of this thing in the case and check it out and go all through it like we usually do. Here we go. Okay, here we go. So here is the case for the 2000 Gibson SG Millennium Edition. Obviously, we know and love these brown cases on this show. We've had plenty of them on here with the Gibson USA. These are what I call the 90s cases. And again, this is a 2000, so might as well just throw this right in there. It was the tail end of the 90s, and they were still using these brown cases. I just love these, and uh, we've had them on the show many times. So this is definitely the original and period correct case for this guitar with the pink going on here and the classic pink shroud we've seen many times. Let's pull her back here, and there we go. The 2000 Millennium Edition. Let's get right in here. Like we said, we've got a 490R. 
and 498T two humbucking pickups here obviously in gold no pickup mounting rings these are just mounted right into the pearl pick guard here so that's very cool they just set right in there uh ebr1 two pneumatic bridge and gold stop bar tailpiece that gold just pops so awesome there on that black that just looks so cool uh, like we were saying earlier, we got the two volume, two tone controls here with the top hat knobs that are labeled, three way toggle, and our output jack here. A lot of just traditional stuff you would have on a Gibson SG, so nothing really special there except the Pearl Pick Guard, which was pretty unique at the time. Uh, you see these a lot more. Nowadays, this is being recorded in 2023 and with the custom shop and all, and obviously the gold as well. But this was a pretty unique thing at that time, especially for the USA plan to be putting out in celebration of the millennium. So very cool stuff. Rosewood fingerboard there with trapezoid acrylic inlays going up the neck all the way up here to the headstock. And we have the Mother of Pearl Gibson logo and the SG crown, which we all know and love. SG here on our truss rod cover. And we've got our Clusen style Gibson tuners here, which we're going to take a look at. Let's flip this over and take a look at it on the back. Okay, so there are gold... Clusen style Gibson tuners there. There's that limited edition logo that I was talking about earlier. You would see that stamped on the back of a lot of Gibsons during this time. There were limited runs. I'm not entirely sure how many of these were put out. If any of you know, please comment below. If you know a little bit more about these Millennium Edition models, definitely comment how many were made, but it was a limited run. Okay, there's the mahogany neck with the black going on there. All black, and we could see that even with our control cavity there for our two-volume, two-tone output jack and three-way toggle all going on as you would traditionally have on an SG under one control cavity there. Um, I believe these have been swapped out. They did a great job with those, though. They used gold, but those are shallower style strap locks, uh, which did not come on these traditionally, so someone swapped that out somewhere along the way since the millennium. But as always, da -da -da, we don't worry about that because we are powered by strap tight on this show Throw on a strap tight. Stop altering your guitars. Stop dropping your guitars. Throw on a strap tight and you are done. So every guitar we play on this show or whenever I play in a studio, live, anywhere, I'm always using strap tight. So we love them. Check them out at straptight.com. All right, let's flip this thing over and get a view here of the front one more time. Okay, so there is one more full-on case shot. Beautiful pink interior case with the brown exterior there on this limited run. 2000 Millennium Edition Gibson SG in black. What a beautiful guitar. Okay, so let's take this for a test drive. Kind of run it through the tonal palette like I always do. Do some slide, turn it up here, and then kind of get some mellower tones out of it and see what she sounds like. Check it out. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
So thanks so much for checking in today, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. The 2000 Millennium Edition Gibson SG in black. Uh, just a beautiful guitar. These are out there. You do see them floating around. Um, I'm not entirely sure how many numbers of these they did. Uh, please comment below if you know. It's kind of a little bit of a mystery. Um, a lot of people that have seen this guitar say, wow, I've never seen anything else that looks like that. Uh, so it is kind of rare, but not super rare. I have seen these out there. They are floating around. It wasn't like some extremely rare thing, but uh, not a ton, ton, ton of them were made. So enough that it doesn't make them super collectible, but and not enough that they are, if that makes any sense. Uh, so they, they were a limited run as we know so uh, if you can grab one you know go ahead and, and get a hold of it this example is in stellar condition and that's just great whenever you find one like that so beautiful guitars please comment below you guys uh, like i said let me know if you know how many of these they did uh, in the run i'm not entirely sure uh, have you played one? Do you want one? Have you seen one? Maybe any of the other Millennium editions that Gibson was putting out a lot of interesting stuff in the uh, 2000s there when it first turned to kind of in a, celebrate and honor the new Millennium, if you will. So if you've experienced any of that or tried it out or even just seen it, please comment below. Please hit that subscribe button. You know I appreciate it. And thank you so much to all of you that already do subscribe. Find me on Facebook at Todd BB Music. We always have all things going on here. Guitar reviews, lessons, artist interviews, product reviews. So um, we love having all of you on board with us. Thank you so much for checking in and joining me today. Stay safe and love your dogs. Take care.